Hello I Quanters. Today we will be discussing the second question of I Brahma series. Uh, I had posted this question on Facebook and a lot of you have already answered the question. Some of you are confused that what should, should be the best approach to solve such questions. Some are confused whether it is hit and trial. But today we will be discussing the proper mathematical approach to solve this question. Let us have a look at the question. The question says find the largest four digit number for which n plus sum of the digits of n is equal to 10,000. So n here is the four digit number and here is the four digit number and then we have some of the digits which should be equal to 10,000. So if we think about it, what can be the range of the uh, four digit number? Okay, this one thing that we are already sure of, the largest four digit number is actually 9999. And some of its digits is 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 is 36. That means the maximum sum of digits can be 36. This can be the maximum. Which also means that the number n, the number n should be greater than 10,000 minus 36 which means n has to be greater than 9964 okay so here we get the range of the number so whatever the number is it has to be greater than 9964 okay <clears throat> the number is greater than 9964 and of course less than 10,000 we get to know one thing that first two digits would definitely be 9 each that means the number would be in this form 9, 9 and 2 more digits, let those digits be equal to A and B. Alright, so this should be the number. Now if I add the sum of the digits which is equal to 9 plus 9 plus A plus B, this should be equal to 10,000. Great. Now if I try to expand this number, if I try to expand this number, what do I get? Expanding it. So as you can see, this is units place, tens place, hundreds place and thousands place. So if I expand it, I get 9 into 1000 is 9000 plus 9 multiplied by 100. that will be 900 plus 10 multiplied by A that is 10A and then 1 multiplied by B that is B only plus 9 plus 9 is 18 already we have it then plus A plus B this entire expression should be equal to 10,000 Okay, <clears throat> what next? If I try to solve it, all the variables in the left hand side and all the constants in the right hand side, what do I get? So here 10a plus a is 11a and b plus b is 2b. So we get 11a plus 2b. Moving all the constants to the right hand side, we get 10,000 minus 9,000 minus 900 minus 18. So <clears throat> if we do that, what do we get? We get 82. So this is what we have to solve now. First two digits are confirmed. They are 9 each. The other two digits are A and B which we will try to find out from this equation. 11A plus 2B. Okay. There is a learning in this question. If you look at this value, this is actually an even value. If the sum is even, both these numbers should be either odd or even. They both should be either odd or both should be even. Now if you look at this 2b, now 2b is definitely even because it is uh, a multiple of 2. So it cannot be odd. That means the first case automatically gets cancelled. The only case left is both the numbers should be even. So 2b is of course even and now we have to make 11a even 
11 is odd, that means A has to be even somehow. So that is what we have to do over here. I'll erase this slide and move on to the next one. The equation from the previous slide was 11A plus 2B is equal to 82 and we also discussed that A has to be even. Moreover, we have to maximize the value of uh, the number which is given there. That means we have to find the, we have to try to find the maximum value of A. So maximum even single digit number is definitely 8. So if I put A as 8 here, we put A as 8, we get 11 8s are 88. So B will be equal to minus 3, which is of course not possible. All right. Now we'll try to put the second largest even number in place of <coughs> second largest single digit even number in place of A, that will be 6. So if we put A as 6, 11 6 or 66, what do we get at B? We get 8. Now this means that we have found a definite solution for A and B both. But <coughs> there's a possibility that there are more solutions. So if I try to put A is equal to 4, what do I get? And if there are more than one solutions, that means the answer is indeterminable. But let us check it out first. So if I put A as 4, 11 4s are 44. And if I try to find that out, then B will actually be a two digit number. It will be actually a two digit number. And the number will be 11 4s are 44. 82 minus 44 <coughs> is equal to 38. So B will be 19 in that case, which will actually be a two digit number. So again, this case is not possible. So the only possible case we have over here is where A is 6 and B is 8. If at A, we are getting the value of B as two digit number, of course, if we, we don't need to check further. We don't need to check for A is equal to 2. All right. <coughs> so this is the only possibility. Now the number will be 9, 9, a is 6 here and B is 8 over here. So the number is 9968. Nine, Hope that answers your query. Thank you.